Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on my channel, Makes Movies. If you are new to this channel, this is basically where I talk to you guys about my passion for movies. This goes from collections, hauls, reviews, and to today's video. So let's get into it. Okay, so we've got another subscriber mail review to do. Yay! So I was struggling to think of what to do for the next one because obviously I got three Parentivity films um sent to me so i've watched all three of those so then i was like what do i watch now because the other ones i just need to watch and review separately so i thought what do i watch now then i watched the teen wolf movie and i'm now suddenly into wanting to watch a werewolf movie luckily from the lovely scott meadows i got sent big top scooby-doo so of course i thought werewolves scooby-doo i think i'm going to enjoy it at least I hope I do. This is one of the ones I have never seen. So thank you again, Scott Meadows, for sending this over to me. I look forward to seeing what this is like. Just the simple fact of, like I said, it's Scooby-Doo and werewolves. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I know it's going to be set in a circus, because obviously... Okay, so I'm now going to put this in. So let's see what it's like. Okay, so unfortunately it is a bit later in the day because I had to pause the film because I had to go and do something for my apprenticeship, which meant me going into Berry. But I finished the film when I got back, so let's get into my thoughts of Big Top Scooby-Doo. So it's a pretty basic plot. Um, it's just werewolves in a circus. Um, I won't say any more than that because, like I said, I'm trying to not talk about the plot as much as I may want to talk about the plot. Um, because I don't want to spoil things for people. Um, but yeah, so Big Top Scooby-Doo. Now, like I said, the reason why I picked this out is because I was in a werewolf kind of mood. These were pretty awesome werewolves, not gonna lie. The animation in this is beautiful. I do like the animation. I think the story was quite fun. Um, it was nice. This was just a very good movie. I actually quite enjoyed this. Um, it did make me chuckle a few times and for once I actually like the fact that they made Daphne a bit more of a badass in this one like she rides a motorbike at one point um, so I like the fact that normally with Daphne they're like oh it's the damsel in distress you know so for once they actually gave her a bit of a better role and I actually quite like that um, is this like the best Scooby-Doo movie ever? no there's some other things that go above it but this was actually a really good movie. I'm glad I have this in my collection. Um, if this ever gets put into Blu-ray, I will be getting it on Blu-ray to put it in my Blu-ray collection. Um, but I certainly will be keeping this and I will be going back to this one because like I said, I did find it quite enjoyable. I mean, obviously with any Scooby-Doo movie, it's always gonna be a bit predictable, except for like the ones, the four, like the Zombie Island, Cyber Chase and all that. Like those four, you never knew exactly what was going to happen. But with these more common animated Scooby-Doo movies, they can be a bit predictable. So it can take you out of it a little bit. But you still enjoy it because it's Scooby-Doo. It's a classic mystery, you know. You want to know who did it. You're looking at the characters going, is it you? Is it you? This one, I will admit, I didn't see who was going to be the people in this. So I was quite shocked. Um, but no, this this was a really good film. Bit of a weird ending, not gonna lie, but this was still really enjoyable, and I certainly will be watching this again in the future. And yeah, so score wise, I give it a seven out of ten. That's how, that's how enjoyable it was. And I say I do look forward to going back to it and watching it again at some point. I might watch it during the Halloween season because when it's the Halloween season I try and watch like supernatural monsters you know things like that so who knows maybe I might watch this again then or maybe I might try and recommend it to someone and watch it with them who knows but big top Scooby-Doo gets good marks from me so yeah I'm not sure what the next one will be just for the simple fact of we are going into February um, so there's a DreamWorks movie coming out, Puss in Boots, Last Wish, and an MCU movie, The Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Um, so next month, most of the movies I will be watching will be DreamWorks or MCU. Just the simple fact, I'm going to work on rankings for those. Um, 
an update on my Blumhouse one as well. I am still working on it. It's just I kind of got a little bit sidetracked. So like I said, the rankings will be coming out as and when I complete them. Because if I try and force them, that's it. That's when it doesn't feel good to me. But the Blumhouse one will be coming soon. Just not sure when. Um, but no, so next month, most of the movies you'll see in my weekly watches will be DreamWorks, MCU. And any new films that are coming out in that month. Um, I also want to say that there's two films in my January watch list video that I haven't been able to watch this month, so I will roll them over to next month. So when I do my watch list for next month, I will just briefly say what those two films are, and then I'll tell you what the other films I'm looking forward to that month as well. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, then do give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and also the notification bell down below to be notified when I post. And also leave me your comments and thoughts on Big Top Scooby-Doo. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Is this one you want to watch? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!